Robert Duvall and James Kahn in Countdown tomorrow at 4. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Many women leaving prison felt stranded and alone and lost. Then a group of church women helped establish a halfway house just for them. Here they can live in a family type setting and volunteers help ease their return to society, counseling them, finding them jobs, and just being friends. Southern New Mexico. Local Chicanos had trouble getting jobs and holding them until a religious group made their concern its concern. With its help, these people are now learning English as a usable second language. And they're building their own homes and starting their own businesses in order to be self-sufficient. Maybe you feel you can't do things by yourself. Then work together with others at your local church or synagogue. The God we worship expects us to help one another. Today, start treating your brothers and sisters like brothers and sisters. This message was presented at the close of the day in cooperation with the Interfaith Broadcasting Commission, which is a four-faith group, including the Archdiocese of Detroit, the Christian Communication Council, the Council of Eastern Orthodox Churches, and the Jewish Community Council. This is WXYZ-TV with studios and transmitter at Broadcast House, Southfield, Michigan. Channel 7 is owned and operated by the American Broadcasting Company. We operate with 316 kilowatts visual, 31.6 kilowatts oral power, as authorized by the Federal Communications Commission. For 31 years, Channel 7 has proudly presented news, top entertainment shows, useful information, and discussions of issues important in the lives of the nearly 5 million viewers in metropolitan Detroit. We hope we made your day a little brighter. We invite you now to tune to WXYZ Radio 1270 on your AM dial or to WRIF 101 on your FM dial for music throughout the night. We'll see you again at 6 o'clock this morning. Until then, we bid you a very pleasant good night and good morning.